All right, so I haven't done one of these uh, uh, Secret Hitler recording or replay analysis videos in a little while, so let's sit down. We'll do one of these. This video was just sent to me by three. It literally just happened as of this recording. So uh, off the bat, you know, <laughs> I don't want to say anything about these votes. Um, generally speaking, you see three, four, seven lines as fascist, and you just kind of hate yourself. You just want to die a little bit because... Without major deck help, you're just going to lose most of the time. But uh, this is, uh, spoiler, this is a fascist win. Um, so let's see how fascists win this game. Alright, so 1-5 is blue. Nothing too crazy there. I don't know what these votes are about. Maybe people were maiming or something. Um, hold on. What is... Yeah, even one nines themselves. It's like... I mean, I, okay, so I'm, like, of the opinion that 3, 4, 7 should 9, and it should be just 1, if, like, if you, since the meta is 1, 2, 5, 6 meta, um, I think, like, the point is of the meta is, part of the point of the meta is that the votes are important, and so, you know, people should yaw or 9 based on what govs they actually want to pass, and, like, 3, 4, 7 have no reason to really yaw 1, 5, Except that, you know, it's the meta and that's why you yaw. So it's like, that's a stupid reason to yaw. So 3790 I actually kind of agree with, even if... Okay, so we get three reds there. 3-7 yaw each other, of course. 5-1. Uh, and you know, to be honest with you, at this point in time, it's like, I don't even mind 7 yawing 3 there. It's like, same reasoning. It's like the closest uh, chance you'll have to be in gov anyway i mean the old meta the one two uh one two three meta like one five two th six three seven meta um that in that meta even like if you're in one of these seats you're still kind of screwed because you're always going to be a chancellor rather than a president it always was like there was a reason that one three six or one two three was always the best fast lines in that meta because they just had so much control over everything. Okay, so two red... Oh, no, no. What? Huh. So we get a blue, blue, blue. After an RRB. That's how the second blue goes down. Huh. Seven, three almost gets yawed. It's interesting. Uh, I don't know if this is just like a... This may have been a voice chat game. Or something. Uh, I know a number of these people are in voice chat games, so it may have been casual. One picks three. Nothing too crazy there. M3 fascist, I assume, yeah. I mean, not even an assumption, really. So 2-4 gets the odd. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, um, the guy who sent this to me, number three, was indeed... Uh, he told me that it was a four blue deck. Not only is it a four blue deck, but it's a four blue deck where one person got legit blue, blue, blue. So that really bites. VSC five, five picks three. That's a, a totally reasonable pick. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry for the yawn. Um, it's pretty early in the morning today. Um, <laughs> this is just this is just bad luck. Like, this is about as bad as it gets. There's only four blues in this deck, and five has just drawn three of them. Um, it gives literally zero info. Um, this gets yawed. And I, I think, yeah, five shoots one. Like, one was already CNH. I'm guessing there was a lot of chat going on. We can check. Uh, yeah, no, this was a chat game. Let's see if, uh, let's see if there's anything in the chat. Five is a casual... Oh, yeah, it is a casual game. Now, let's see. Hmm. Three is CNH because five, three passed. One is objectively best shot. Yeah. <laughs> so 
See, the thing about it is that whether it's a three blue deck or a four blue deck, the thing you always know in this deck is that whichever president it was that got um, the blue, blue, blue in the four blue deck, they got two blues and they didn't drop. So they got at least two blues. Them claiming three blues is really not that crazy. It's still a four blue deck. Um, I don't know. I mean, they can be fascist. Yeah, Dispresso is yawing seven. I mean, it's like... I don't know. This game is really hard for Libs to win anyway. It's like, after... Um, after the four blue deck with three, four, seven lines, it's like... There's no one in their right mind that's ever going to think three, four, seven is the lines. Not when three and two are both C and H. Um... I'm guessing after this point they just top deck the game. Yeah, they just top deck the game. So, eh. There's probably chat that uh, went into 5 shooting 1. I don't really blame 5 for making his shot. It's a 4 blue deck that 1 touched twice. It's like, that's generally speaking the most fascist person in the in the deck. So, I don't know. And he has three fascist. I don't know. I don't know if there's a way Libs can win this. I think if one M's a Lib, it might be possible. Rather than Ming three. This is why I don't really agree with the idea that just because like you, you pick a Chancellor, right? You should always MV your Chancellor. Like, that's kind of a thing right now in the meta, and I don't really agree with it. Um it was a really big thing in the old meta because you had three governments that were basically like, this is the first time each person is uh, going to be with us, this person. So it's like, um, there it makes a lot of sense. Like if you're going to play red, red, red and see one, two or three, you might as well M the person who's going to be the, in the weakest position after the red, red, red. Whereas it's like three is not in a weak position after one, three plays red, 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 because, um, the next government is going to be one of these three. You just have to think about, like, what... You have to think about the future as a liberal, right? Like, if you have three lib, there's a good chance that, like, the fascists, and also liberals, but also the fascists, are going to push for three to be the next uh, president. And so, that's not great for you. You would rather, um... You would rather your guy get SC'd. So it's like... It's almost like, you know, I don't know. Five is the most lib already. Five should get the SC. There's not really a reason for five to be imved. Um, so I guess in that sense, there's not really a great logic for who you imv. But uh, either way, I mean, even if they imv a lib, it's like, I don't see how one isn't shot in this, in this deck. I mean, it's just a horrible deck state for liberals. So anyway... Uh, good video. Any questions, you can ask me down below. I'll answer them. Uh, that'll be all.